Balenciaga's on my feet, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I got these pointers, neck and wrist, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I'm always fresher than the rest, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Since 96, I'm in this game, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Balenciaga's on my feet, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I got these pointers, neck and wrist, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I'm always fresher than the rest, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Since 96, I'm in. Welcome to another episode of No Cap Reacts. I'm your man, Bailey, a.k.a. Mr. Go Get Him. <laughs> and we're back with another episode. This one a little different. I'm actually over here uh, with my boy AG. I'm in his office. And uh, we got a special guest, and she goes by the name of Ebony. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Ebony. I'm from San Francisco. I'm just out here joining for the day. Have some chats. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to start this off real quick with a toast. Cheers to a good show. Cheers to a good show. Okay. What is this? Tequila. Oh, that's good. That's smooth. Ooh. Okay. All right. So I have a conversation with my boy, G. He said, uh... This would be some good content. I got somebody that'll go basically toe to toe with you on some conversations. So, is that what he said? We don't even know what we're about to talk about, but we about to talk. So we're gonna just go over uh, something that was just brought up literally a minute ago. Abortions. What's your take on that? I feel like Roe versus Wade absolutely should not be overturned. I think abortions should be able to remain woman's choice. A woman's choice, yeah, it should definitely be an option. So I agree with you one hundred percent. But do you understand why abortion is being taken over by the government? Tell me. Okay. So do you know where marriage currently is right now? Do I know where it's at? Yeah. It's what do you mean? Like the statistics of marriage. No. Okay. So statistically, marriage is at all time low, like twenty eight percent. I believe it. Divorces, 58% and rising. Mm -hmm. Childbirth, 32%. Okay. Okay, so if it's down to 32%, in 20 years from now, who's going to work? <laughs> Who is going to work? It's not going to be enough, right? Correct. Or so if you don't have any children being born, mm -hmm. then nobody's no one's going to be working. Maybe that's why they're making a bunch of robots. There's no yeah. maybe. They're, the government is literally looking because the robots still have to be run by humans. True. Okay. So the government is actually stepping in and they're looking at it because they know the statistics because they do it. And they're saying, we need to stop women from having abortions. Otherwise, our lights are going off. Mm -hmm. Plants are shutting down. Coal fields. Uh, um, oil fields. Every job, doctors, lawyers, nurses, mm -hmm. we're literally, we'll, we'll kill ourselves off. Mm -hmm. So that's where, which goes into other things, right? <clears throat> so, how old are you? 34. Married? No. Children? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's your thoughts on marriage? <laughs> I feel like, well, you say statistically it's 58%. I def the last time I feel like I did the research, I feel like 50% of, I read that 50% of marriages ended in divorce anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I personally do not want the government to tell me when I can leave somebody and when I can't. When I'm ready for this shit to be over, I want to be done. But I also feel like commitment comes from the person, not from a piece of paper. I know so, ideally So that. here's a question. Mm -hmm. Why would you get married if you're ready to leave somebody? Or you want to leave when you want to leave? <sighs> no. See, so... I feel like I want to be able to have the option. I just don't, I don't, I wouldn't go into a marriage looking for an out. However, once I got into it, if I was in a situation that I needed to get out, I want to be able to get out. What's the situation that you would need to get out? Somebody physically abusing me. Okay, that's one. I would give you that one. Uh -huh. Anything else? Um, someone cheating on me and having a baby. Is it the cheating on you or is it the having the baby? Um, it depends on what the cheating looked like. Did what he have, an affair, on, did he have like? an affair on me? Did he just happen to go to a bachelor party, got drunk, and like slept with a stripper that night? Like what kind, Like what was okay, the level of the cheating? What is the difference in cheating? Oh, man. 
Because <laughs> th- this is a huge one it is. that so many women throw out there, right? I feel like with an affair, you have an emotional connection. And if you're having an emotional connection with someone, I'm not com- competing for emotions. I'm not competing for intimacy. I'm not competing for attention. I'm not competing for any of that. You're not going to have the choice to say, oh, today I want to kick with Ebony, but tomorrow I want to kick it with Marsha. Okay, so this is the beautiful part of the things that I say to my people. <laughs> Women hate to compete. The moment that they feel like they compete, yeah, they're done. I'm done. Y'all are done. Yes. Right? But what is the number one thing you make every man do for you? Are you about to say that I feel like I make them compete? I'm asking you what you do with other men. Do you make men compete? I don't feel like I make them compete, but I do feel like they have to prove themselves. Personally and unfortunately, I'm not the type that dates multiple people at once, which is bad. I should be more like men and be able to do that. But if I'm dating one person, I typically tend to just focus so on So you them. can't... This, I hear this a lot. I should be more like men. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. That's what separates men from women. <clears throat> okay. Um, are you emotional? Yes. Okay. Which is why everything that you say, before you say it, you go, I feel. Mm-hmm. Everything that you do is attached to a feeling. Yes. Everything that I do is attached to logic. I wouldn't say everything that I do is attached to feelings, because if I did, I would have done a lot more things. But because I am so logical, my friends will tell you all the time, I always say, I wish that I didn't think so much. Because I think so much, I don't do some of the irrational things that later on in life, I'm like, dang. Yesterday, I could have really showed him how crazy I could be, but no. See, I just irrationality to... comes from <laughs> emotions. What? The fact that you, yes. Why is that not me because thinking? Because emotional outbursts make irrational But me thinking, stop So you the... think about it prior yeah, to. So, so, I, so, so I you have it. a foot in the game, but that's also because you're 34. Yes. Your age and the things that you have gone through has helped you make better decisions. I've always been this way, even when I was a young a young lad. Okay, so let me ask you this. Last relationship, how long did it last? <sighs> off and on six years. Why off and on? Because we just couldn't get on the same page. You couldn't or he couldn't? We could not get on the same page. So we both, both wanted, of y'all was messing we, up. No, I'm the shit. But we both wanted different things. <laughs> so because we both wanted different things, we just couldn't come together. We what just, we did he get want on. that you didn't want? Um, I wanted to be in a monogamous relationship, and that is not what he wanted to do. Okay. Let me ask you, we gonna start, I'm gonna take this. <laughs> but we not talk, uh-uh, I'm we're gonna not make getting this in depth not, on my shit. No, it's not, gonna, it's not okay. gonna be on that relationship. We're gonna go granular real quick. <laughs> we're gonna go back to Adam and Eve, mm-hmm. okay? Now, biblically speaking, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you a little lesson here. In Hebrew, Adam is actually a dom, which is more than one. Mm-hmm. And then Eve is actually a vesh, which is more than one. So there's more than one man and more than one woman, not one man and one woman. Okay? Okay. Now, all through the Bible, how many men have multiple wives and concubines? So many. Okay. In every culture in this world, other than the United States, how many men have more than one wife? I'm not going to say all of them, but a lot of them. The majority of them. Yes. Okay. And the world we live in today, even in our Western civilized world, where monogamy is pushed on you, it's not mm-hmm. a choice, it's pushed. How many women... But you can make the choice to do it or not. Hold on. How many women still take the dude back after he cheats? So many. Okay. Which is why... Do you understand? Me. There's, a, You know there's actually a reason behind that? Behind why women take back the cheater? Yeah. You know, it's like, it's literally in your DNA. It is literally in your DNA... To be with, okay, for instance, if you go to a club right now and you meet a man and no one else is interested in him, mm-hmm. do you immediately lose interest? Is he ugly? It don't matter what it looks like. It does. If he's ugly, then yes. Okay, so then he looks good, mm-hmm. but no one else is interested in him. Good. That's the type of man I want. That's not reality. Well, that's what I, I want. Somebody, I don't want to have to compete if it's a bunch of girls going up. I don't want. I'm okay, so let me ask you this. Him. The dude that's standing at the bar, compared mm-hmm. to the dude that's over in VIP, which mm-hmm. one has the most women surrounding him? VIP. Okay, you know why? Because it appears that he has money. No, well, that too. And money signifies what to women? Security. And? Stability. 
Now, if you had a choice between a fat man and a physically fit man, which one are you going to go with? Fat. Why? Because that's my type. <laughs> she is totally against the grain. I love it. <laughs> okay. So, in the world we live in, there's minorities and there's majorities, and you are a minority. Okay. Broke nigga, rich nigga. Which one? Um, Rich. Okay. Tall nigga, short nigga. Tall. Why? Because I like to wear heels and I don't want to look, um, you know. It actually has nothing to do with that. How are you telling me what I want? <laughs> okay, because it's DNA. And, and the world we live in, the world we came from. Okay, how long have high heels been around? I'll help you out. 80 years. Okay. 80 years. Okay. So 80 years ago, they still wanted tall, fit, strong, rich. 500 years ago, tall, fit, strong, rich, kings. I don't know about the rich part because I feel like 500 years ago, black people didn't even, they weren't, there really weren't rich black people 500 years ago, like not in America. We're not talking about America and even in America, oh, okay. yes, they still went for, they would they would go with the strong house nigga before they would go and then the strongest strong yeah but not nigga. money but not money wise well the strongest strength. one usually got had more favor with the slave master mm -hmm. so to for that that was still rich okay cuz he had the biggest hut and he had the 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 choice of which woman he could have there was reasons behind that which is the same thing women choose a man Okay, so when you holler at your girlfriends, right? Mm -hmm. The number one thing that you want to do when you get a new man is take him and do what? Go on a date. No, you want to take him. He, you already did that. Oh. You want to take him and get approval from your girls. With that your is a lie. Dude. See, you are a minority. That I is a that. lie. My friends don't. I, the last dude I was with, it took my friends about two years to even meet him. Uh, you, you like a nigga. <laughs> In certain ways. Okay, so so <laughs> I said this to him earlier. He said no. But I'm going to tell you, that's probably what... Is it easier or harder for you to keep a man? Um, I would say harder because I have standards. No, you're not standards. You're, you're, you're more masculine. You're more like a man. That's like me dating him. <laughs> no. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> it really is. Because your thought process is more along my thought process than it is if I was talking to a regular female. I'll take that. Like, masculine women mm -hmm. aren't that attractive to us. Like, you're an attractive woman, mm -hmm. but your thought process mm -hmm. is too close to mine. So when your thought process is that is like that, uh -huh. it, it, it makes a man go, damn, I'm literally, like, fucking my nigga with a pretty face. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna... I hear what you're saying. It, <laughs> it sounds nice, but... Um, I wouldn't necessarily agree. I think I do have some type of traits. Now, I will say, when I was in college, for sure, my motto was definitely think like a nigga so you don't get hurt like a bitch. That was for sure. But as I got older. No, you created a habit, so now as you I got older, to do that, but you do it in a different manner. Uh, no. Because you realize, you're realizing, like, at the end of the day, as you get older, mm -hmm. more and more and more, you want to be with somebody. Yes. I wanted to be with somebody even when I was in college, but correct. But it wasn't as much because, unfortunately, the way we raise people is twenties is too young to get married. Figure yourself out, go to school, get a degree, get a job, do all this shit, mm -hmm. then worry about getting married and have a kid. Yes, just total opposite. Yes, because you should actually grab someone as quickly as you can, get married, and then you guys grow together. Because what happens is at this point in time, how many times you've been hurt? If I'm gonna keep it real, I've never gotten my heart broken. I didn't say heartbroken. I said hurt. Oh, well, lots of times. Correct. Yeah. How many bullshit niggas you can fuck with? A few. Okay. Now, because you've done that, it makes it harder for you to find a man, right? Because I have standards. It's yeah. not standards. It is. We all have the exact same I've, standards. That is not true. That is true. That is not true. Okay. So, in a relationship, you're looking for strength, mm -hmm. stability, and a share of resources. Yes. Those are the only three standards for a woman. I think you kind of reduced it to 
how do you reduce it to just three things? That's what your DNA tells you. That's why you look for what you look for in a man. But my standards is also somebody who is honest, somebody who is consistent, somebody who is dependable, someone who is family oriented. Those aren't those aren't standards. Why? How is that not? Those are things that you would like. Those are those That's are, a standard. Like that are, is what you have to no, have no, in order for me preference. to deal with you. Those are human those are literally when you break it down mm -hmm. as we are as humans, that's literally just who we are. How many people are dis, just dishonest people? Whew, so many. No, no, no. Dishonest or a man is dishonest with you? No, I'm literally telling you. There are so many people that are dishonest. No, there are people, people that literally that just don't know how to tell the truth. What's the, um, there's a word for it. What is it called? Habitual liar. Yes, but there's another one. But exactly, but there are some people who literally can't help themselves. But, but those lie. are a minority. That's not a majority. The majority of the people are actually very honest people. I don't agree with you, but it sounds nice. Keep yeah, going. I mean, if you're dealing with criminals and, and, and riffraff of the world, they're not honest people. Okay, well, that's but what I do. But the average everyday... Well, see, there you go. So change who you fuck with. I mean, this is my job. I mean, when I ran through <laughs> the streets... But it's my job. But you're not going to date the people you... But these are still people that I'm encountering. And what I'm talking about the people that you're dating. Mm -hmm. The people that you date are not the people that you work with, hopefully. Okay. Because that's like saying, if I was a prison guard, mm -hmm. I'm only going to date prison inmates. That would be not a smart move. Thank you. So yes. what you're saying is that the people that you date are mm -hmm. the same as the people that you work with. All right. <laughs> I mean, Thank I'm you. not going to give up all of my business here. Well, but. It's, not, it, you, it's not for you to, <laughs> yes. but what I'm saying is then you need to change what you're doing. Like That's where you have to then take accountability for the fact because the people that you fuck with are your choice. So mm -hmm. before you blame someone else, the first person you have to blame is... So you think most people tell the truth in the world? The majority of the people in the world actually tell the truth. Okay. <clears throat> now, men as a whole, do we lie to women? Yes. Why? Because you want to make sure that you can still get what it is that you want. Sometimes if you tell the truth, you're not going to get what it is that you still want. Okay, so in, in, in the male-female dynamic, mm -hmm. would you prefer honesty and the truth, or mm -hmm. would you prefer for us to lie to you? Honesty. Okay, so if every nigga walked up to you and said, you look good, mm -hmm. I want to fuck you and see what you about, mm -hmm. you going to fuck with him? Um, not every nigga, but I mean, sometimes I think it would depend on what the circumstance is. You know how many women are going to say no to that, including you? A lot. Correct. Yeah. As much as you guys say you want honesty, mm -hmm. if niggas were actually honest, mm -hmm. we would never have females. Well, I mean, again, if we're talking circumstances and who it is, like if, am I like... Well, see, that's another problem, too. That You guys have to also, it goes back to accountability. If Idris Elba walks through this door... I was going to say Morris Chestnut, but absolutely. Okay. Morris Chestnut <laughs> walks absolutely. through this door, you going to drop down and give it to him. What? Right? Yes. Now, but this is the problem. He's just fucking you. Okay. Right? And I you, don't... That's and, fine. Okay. And the, and the bad part <laughs> about that is the moment he leaves yes. and you then walk out that door... Uh -huh. Every nigga you fuck was going to be like, I fuck with Morris Chestnut, so you need to get on my level. No, not necessarily. <laughs> yes, necessarily. Not necessarily. Yes, all women do that. That's, you know how many women are running around right now because they... grouping every woman because, into see, the okay, same box? So like, we are not all the same, and you literally just said that about me like five minutes ago. Actually, can I... You know what the... The majority... There's majority and minority. You happen to be a minority. But you keep saying all. Because when I'm speaking, I'm speaking in general. And the majority of the women, which would be all, if they fuck... How is majority all? Because the minority is so insignificant, it's so small, it's insignificant. But it's still not all. But this is the problem with having a conversation when when we as men and women sit down. Mm -hmm. You would prefer to focus on the minority and not the majority. So it's like the majority of Africa isn't poor and homeless and doesn't have food mm -hmm. but what they try to sell you is that africa is the poorest country in the world yes. and they don't right it's a falsity yes it sets a different standard yes and it gives the wrong message yes so then you're lying to people yes but would you sit here and say all of africa is poor or all of Africa is rich. No, I would say almost all of Africa is rich. Right. So when it comes to generalizations, why aren't you doing the same thing? Because the majority of women, again, the amount of women that are in the minority is so it is so small, it's insignificant. Like you are one. Okay, first and foremost, women outnumber men 
11 one in the U.S. Mm -hmm. You are probably like one out of 500. Mm -hmm. So if you do that through the through the majority, I think only 500 women think like me. One out of 500 women do think like you. Oh, one out Whereas, of 500. Whereas, like okay. the fact that you would literally take like the fat dude and, and you're gonna take this and you think like a man and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, and the fact that you think about what you do before you do it. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have. You know how many men are sitting around right now loving the Johnny Depp case because there are so many Amber Heards. Yes. Right? Yes. But that would never be you. No. Thank you. Never. <laughs> that is, that's what I'm saying. So the minority Never. is so small, it is insignificant to mm -hmm. where as men, we can say, yeah, all women are like this. So couldn't I say all men are like this? But there's the problem. We don't deny it. All men want to fuck. But there are so many people that'll say, why are you generalizing all men? Maybe you need to change the niggas that you fuck with. Well, there's two types of, okay, so there's two modes that men have, mm -hmm. right? And I, the thing about it is, he's in mode two, I'm in mode one. Mm -hmm. Mode one is, we're just going to fuck you. Okay. But guess what? It is up to you and your actions that dictate whether we marry you, because we have two modes. Mm -hmm. We're either just going to fuck you with every woman that we meet is initially recreational use, mm -hmm. but it's what you do after we have sex that shows us whether or not we're going to keep you to marry you. Every man is the exact same way. What if you don't ever marry them, you just keep them long term? That doesn't happen. That means you haven't shown what you need to show for him to marry you. But what if y'all still stay together long term, but y'all just don't get married? Again, men have a scarcity thought process where women live for abundance. Mm -hmm. If a hundred men were outside this door right now, and we opened this door and said, Ebony wants to have sex, how many men gonna come in here? Probably all of them. All 100, okay? <laughs> Now, if 100 women were outside of that door mm -hmm. and they opened the door and said, Bailey wants to have sex, how many women are going to come in that door? I don't know. Probably like three to five. Okay. And you know what they're going to say? But first, you got to take me out on a date. At least get to know me. So, we have a scarcity thought process because we have to work for everything <laughs> that we get. Women have an abundant thought process because it's constantly thrown at you. So yes. like his wife, whether he likes it or not, when she leaves the house, mm -hmm. a hundred niggas try to offer her dick subliminally and even sometimes straightforward. Every time you go out, That's you get true. hit on everywhere you go, right? That is not true. It is true. That is not, I'm literally telling you, it's not true. Okay, let me see your Instagram. Your inbox. <laughs> Easy. There you go. Please, please. Y'all make sure y'all pay attention to Carlos. this. Go ahead, go in no. that. Who are these? Go. So no, the question is who is these? Who, who are they? Like, that's my godfather. Who else? Okay. That's hold on, is your is hold on. Let's do something first. My Instagram is public. No, Keep no, going. No, not that. You got five hundred and eighty six followers. That's what I'm friends saying. Friends and family. Right? Not all friends and family. So how many people don't you know? Cause you I feel like over half of them. I don't know. Over half of them? I feel like over half. I don't okay. know 500 people. Now. <laughs> <laughs> your page is, your Instagram is different. Yeah. Again, you are a fucking minority. She ain't got no thirst trap pictures on her shit. This is family, graduation pics, she is you. kids, her face. This would be only thing considered a thirst trap picture. And that's not even that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you, again, you are an anomaly. So I'm just saying. But now, so that's the thing. Any Let's talk about which women you're talking about then. Are you talking about the bad bitches? Or are you talking about the regular girls like me? Because no, none no, of my no, friends no, are like no, that. No. I can show you all the, of my homegirls' pictures and the don't regu nobody the regular, the not, regular I don't girls. see a single titty pick, ass pick, nothing on my timeline. Unless it's like Bria Miles and she only posts like once every few months. And she is. Because uh, you think like a nigga. Because this is the thing. If you pull up Idris Elba, he got 6 million followers. He's also Idris Elba. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but if you look at his comments, yeah, it's all dudes. Good look, homie. You're looking good. Mm -hmm. Nice jacket. Mm -hmm. Great shoes. You did good in 007. Mm -hmm. You take an average, average chick. Mm -hmm. Hard eyes. Fire emoji. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Sexy. Did you, da -da 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 -da. I'm average, right? You're no, 
because you're not, I'm not posting. I'm, not, I'm nowhere near Idris Elba level. I'm but, not average. But you're not right? posting your ass on the gram. You're not attention seeking. That's what I'm saying. So, so you have to average. step. So, so you you're not average. Step. So just again, this is what I this is proving even more of exactly what I'm saying. So you, you feel like the average woman below, is showing below their ass. Average. Yes. So you're feeling mm -hmm. wow, so I guess I have no average friends cuz again, I don't see titties and average, ass on my regular. Out. She's not even regular. She's below she's less than regular. Now, are you is that a good or a bad thing? In your case, in what you for saying? attention, like you're not vying for male's attention. You no. don't seek validation. No, you are an anomaly. Only from the person that I'm with. You are an anomaly. You I'm are with. you are literally a wife without a husband. Yes. But she, <laughs> but, <laughs> Do you know how I mean? I've heard this. You're not telling me shit. But, I don't know. But the, the, but the level of masculinity, because you, if you dropped, if you if you lost. The male thought process, mm -hmm. you be married in a year. Uh, no, because I still have standards. It's not my. It's literally my standards that's preventing me. If I wanted to be with somebody, I could. But, but there's the a difference. Time, okay, I but, want somebody but, that is going to be consistent. I want somebody who is at least comparable but to do the you choose that? that. Yes. Then why aren't you married? Because I ain't met them. Where I live, they're not there. Mm -hmm. I don't see them, or they don't them. like black girls. Mmm. Mmm. That's a whole totally different. But I'm just telling you what's the reason. It's it's your sisters that fucked it up for you. Because those men are clearly I just had this conversation. I also feel somebody. like because we're in the bay and the bay is such a melting pot, we've always grown up with so much diversity. I wasn't raised with like all my schools always had Samoans, Cambodians, well, hold on. all so the different types of people. We just had that conversation. Who'd you lose your virginity to? Black women. Who'd you marry? Black women. But what'd you date in between there? No black women. Mm hmm. Okay. Lost my virginity to a black woman. <laughs> Everything that I fuck right now is mainly not black. Mm hmm. And we'll see who I How am. How did black women mess that up? How? How? Oh, I can tell you like the last one that I dated. Tell me, please. She wasn't shit. Meaning? Um, she wanted to tell me who I was, how I was, what I was about. Um, she wanted to dictate my paycheck. Give it. This is within less than 60 days of dating. Okay. Okay. And everything, I literally had to be Superman to her for her to give me attention. Mm-hmm. But I could go be with anyone else, and I'm God. I'm interested, okay, because we're not going to get into your personal business. I'm actually... Oh, I don't care. I throw all my shit out oh, there. Oh, okay, because I want to know what was it that she was trying to tell you about yourself? What was it that she felt like you were? Like, were you just not ready to hear what she had to say because you didn't feel like that was you? So you just didn't want to hear it? Well, first and foremost, when I date, I, I look at a person for who they are and I accept them for who they were. Mm -hmm. She was telling me who I should be. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind... In terms of what? How, in terms of... My what career... Although she makes nowhere close to it. I have six actual businesses and a career. Mm -hmm. But as when it comes to making money and doing shit, that is not a worry. And she felt but like that was But according to her, enough? I still need to do more. Okay. For I'm well above beyond average. I would be really interested to know if she had the same take. Because I feel like... No, no, so she, that's the thing. She did know. Just like when her car... She got, she got a, uh, she ended up with a blowout, right? Mm -hmm. So she needed to go get new tires. Mm -hmm. It was my responsibility to pay for her tires. That's where her thought process was. Considering y'all, I, I well, even if y'all was in a relationship, that shouldn't be It wasn't your, even in a relationship. Yeah, we you said 60 days. Yeah, so under 60 days. It sounds like she had high expectations that weren't realistic. So that's somebody that I just, I wouldn't say, oh, because like, Black women messed it up, so I'm gonna go get with a white girl. But this, this is the bad. The, it wasn't the fact that I went and got with a white girl. This is the bad part. That has happened so many times mm -hmm. that you literally sit there and go, "All right, let me chill out on them for a minute." Because you feel like. Because I'm tired. I am tired of consistently going through the same thing, mm -hmm. being judged mm -hmm. when I'm doing more than my. You ain't never paid for shit. Mm -hmm. You had to, never had to worry about shit. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, everyone that knows me physically knows I'm the wrong motherfucker to fuck with. Mm -hmm. So you know you're safe. Everything that you, like, other things clearly you're going to earn. 
you're not just going to walk into my life and I'm going to financially take care of you. You know what's really interesting? It's interesting that you say that because all of the things that I say that I want in a relationship, I can't. People keep letting me know, you know what? In this generation, in this day and age, you're not going to get that from a black man. You should open yourself up and okay, you should so date outside your race. Me, I'm still like, I want to love a black man, black love shit. But I'm literally having people tell me. You know why? Don't deal with, don't deal with y'all. I mean, who would broke, you, who now, broke up the black home in the first place? The white We man. used to be married at 67%. We were the highest, we had the highest rate of marriages of all. Then they gave us... Excuse me. They gave us wick and food yes, stamps. The white man. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and told us that you should wait till you get married. Yes. Education is the way. And money, 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 money. And unfortunately, our women bought into it while yes. men, well, as men don't have to work more, guess what men do? Because we as men, we adapt to what you do. You guys dictate the market. Women dictate the market. We adapt to you. Keep in mind, we are the hunters. Mm-hmm. We hunt. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I go out He's and I need to, to be like that, but and, you know if I go out like and I have to kill deer, and deer change the way they where they eat, mm-hmm. I have to figure that shit out mm-hmm. and adapt. So when women changed, women have adapt. Have, men have to adapt to women, which is now it's the total opposite. We are now the lowest demographic to get married, mm-hmm. and we are also well. Black women are the most single, mm-hmm. but have the highest standards. Mm-hmm. A black woman won't get, she'll go to all her fr- white friends, Asian friends, Mexican friends. She'll go to all their me- weddings mm-hmm. while they're all in college, while she sits here and goes, I need to graduate first. Mm-hmm. While all her friends get married and graduate. Not necessarily. The majority. I mean, I feel like I know plenty of them that did not finish. Their parents literally taught them to go to school, sit in front of the engineering building, sit in front of the medical building, find your husband by sitting out in those places, and they didn't have to finish school. Their parents taught them, well, go to the school to that, find your husband. The, the fact that... And then they became stay-at-home wives. Anyone and tells women that they should go to college and rack up debt while at the same time you're looking for a man to take care of you, nothing about that makes sense. Okay. It's the whole process is just stupid. They're probably not racking up debt. Their parents are probably paying, seeing it as an investment in finding your husband. Did you see recently those people in India who? India doesn't count. That's but I'm still saying their parents. The parents are suing the the son for money because they didn't give them a grandchild. Like we got you married, so you're supposed to now give us a grandchild. Well, that's what we lost here in 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 the U S. But what I'm they still get married for but they, legacy, but I'm still saying name, they see family. it as an investment. They don't Correct. see it as sending them to school to rack up debt so you can find a husband. They but see in, it as in an the, investment. In the, in the U.S., who holds the, you know who holds eighty five percent of the debt? Yeah, women. Yeah. Yes. So unfortunately, that's what they're going to school. It's crazy. A woman will go to school to be better at her job mm-hmm. before she'll go see a therapist to be better in a relationship. Agreed. But I Is also that backwards. Feel, um, not necessarily because I feel like therapy is good for your mental health, yes. If we're talking specifically for a relationship, I'm looking more to be aware and able to pay for myself to live. Correct. So what as you're saying is instead of invest- relying on a man to be your stability, you yes. want to rely on yourself. Now, let's go back to that then. You're 34 years old, yes. right? Yes. What is your plan for retirement? Um, I... I pay into my deferred comp, I have investments, Um, I save money. A nigga, she's a man. (laughs) Or maybe I was just raised right. Maybe I just don't want to be put in a situation that I've seen other people in life and in my family. So what do I do? You sound like me. I'm just saying, I'm the the type of person, hold on, I'm the type of person though, where I don't have to experience everything in order to learn a lesson. Wise people are the ones that experience and learn lessons from other people. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. No, so what happens is what happens in the world we live in today is instead of people getting married and doing things that they're supposed to, they would rather go out and get damaged. And then after their damaged goods, then say, oh, I want to get married and I want this, but you got to accept me for who I am. You kind of, when you go in those relationships, most people don't expect for them to end. Especially when they don't expect to get married either. I mean, it depends on who you're talking to and what they want. No, we someone clearly... like someone like me. 
I want to be in a long term relationship, but I don't want to get married. But I want to be with the same person for the rest of my life. When I wanted to have kids, I wanted to have all these babies. I wanted to do that. But again, as we're going back to the beginning, I didn't want to have a white man dictate to me on when I could leave a relationship and when I would don't. I'm going to be committed well, no. for so the rest women of my life. Leave, to women leave shit. men at the rate of 73%. Uh, and when they're educated women, they leave at the rate of over 80%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all marriages, 70 to 80%. Are women leaving men so trust me the white man clearly isn't dictating shit i mean but he's telling you when you can no he's not you choose to leave when you want to by going I'm filing saying, a piece no, of no, paper no 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 but yes I'm you right. file the paper but, but once you file the paper i don't get divorced today see, i have to wait six here's, months here's a, a year here's another two years. here's another issue right women and men today talk these relationships and be like oh i want you to be my business partner business partner we gonna come up together we gonna build we gonna do this mm -hmm. right Marriage is a business. Absolutely. Okay, so Absolutely. if that's what you're truly looking for, then you are definitely looking for marriage because that is the biggest business in our country. That's not what I'm looking for. I really just want somebody that I can spend the rest of my life with, be happy, travel, eat food, have sex with. I'm not really looking to... <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you are so <laughs> backwards. Like, Why I are you backwards? No, because you're not like in that... Y'all are my, especially for my male. <laughs> she is single. She's from San Francisco. <laughs> okay, she's in Arizona right now. I don't know how long she's gonna be I here for. Oh uh, well, shit. She, you got 24 hours, you know, because I'm gonna post this today and Sunday, right? Um, but this is what I'm saying is like, you are the total. I can show you videos of the other women that I have on here. They don't mm -hmm. have this thought process. They don't think like you. Mm -hmm. It's so that makes it harder for you, mm -hmm. whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. It's making it extremely hard. For I you. literally tell my friends all the time, "Who rats have made it too easy?" Because people like me who expect okay. certain things. So we're gonna take this back to where we started <laughs> off, which is where it's cheating, because we didn't get we didn't get. Because <laughs> I forget nothing. You know, I had somebody literally say, "Ebony." I find educated women like you all the time. You're not hard to find. I want a hoe. Mm. Like he literally told me that. He was like, I don't want. Like, Men I don't find marry hoes. Like, well, he already. Men he, don't marry hoes. He, he wasn't trying to marry a hoe. He wasn't even. Correct. He wanted. He wanted to fuck. He wasn't looking for a relationship. He wasn't exactly. looking for anything long term. So who has make it too easy? Because all you got to do is bring some Hennessy in a blunt. Okay. So go back to mm. cheating. We're gonna mm. go back to cheating. Mm. We're gonna go back to cheating. Okay. Four, three to five women will come in here. Mm -hmm. Potentially, I got to work to in order to have sex. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a candy store analogy. Okay. When was the first time you got hit on? How old were you? Somewhere in elementary school for sure. 12, 13 years old? No, elementary, like first, second grade. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so... Basically, being hit on, sex was being offered to you at a very young age, right? But it wasn't even sex in elementary school, right? Correct. It, it wasn't, but it's was the fact of attraction. Attraction yes. is sexual. Yes. Okay. So, sex was offered to you at the end. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. <laughs> so, you lost your virginity literally 19 years ago. Well, no, you're 34. I'm tripping. I'll be 35. Whew. <laughs> okay. That's 19 years ago. 19 years ago, you lost your virginity. Mm -hmm. 19 over the 19, no. Because if you lost yours in elementary school, that cool. means for the last... You say what? If I did what in elementary school? If you got hit on for the first time. Okay. So that means the majority of your life, you've been being hit on. So you've been able to dictate the sexual market the entire time. Because mm -hmm. the sexual market means you've been able to dictate who you sleep with and who you don't sleep with. Yes. Okay. Men don't live like that men you know the average age of a man losing his virginity uh i think nine no. is that just the average that i know no that's the girls girls lose their virginity at nine what is boys like 12 13 no older ew how old? 20s hell no you realize that 30 <laughs> over 30 who was waiting until their 20s as a man you realize seven? right now that between 30 uh, or sorry 18 to 30 years old uh, has the that is the largest demographic of men that are virgins to this day. 
Oh. Men between 18 and 30 are still virgins. I don't know any of those. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Another statistic. <laughs> Women only pay attention to the top 10 to 15% of men. The better looking, the loud, the better dressed, or the ones that you go out and see on a regular basis. What about that the ones that are just a, my friends? Like, I have plenty of friends. There's no friends. such thing as male and female friends. Oh, can we not have this conversation then? Because I'm absolutely not going to agree with you on that. I literally have So you guy have friends. a male dude. I have two male best friends that I have never How did you meet them? School. Okay. I met one in high school, one in college. Did they hit on you? Never. They've never hit on you? Never. 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 Where's your phone at? I'm going to be extremely quiet. Tell them you're coming back. So you met a dude. Uh, you're not going to fuck him. Mm-hmm. But when you get home, you really want some dick and you'd rather be with somebody that you know. And so what? You want me to say that to them? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not fucking saying that shit. Yeah, you so know weird. why? That is because that's weird. Those are like my brothers. I would never even play like and, that. And the, the bad part about it is, and it's been proven every single time that happens, they'd be like, first thing they're going to say is, are you being serious? First of see, all, one of them is married, so I wouldn't even play on his phone like that because what if his wife sees it? I don't have time to sit here and You're calling him, explain. so there's nothing to see. Oh, calling him. Yes. Ew, that would be so weird. See, but this is the, pro- this is the problem. Call, I'm going to call him. This is the problem. I'm going to call this one This is three. you saying, ooh, right? I'm going to call one right now. Now, hold on. Let, let, me, let me just play this. Uh-huh. The first thing that he's going to say uh-huh. is, are you being serious? Uh-huh. So you have to make it seem like you're serious. Ew. Because they're gauging to see it. whether or I'm not, not you're truly being serious. Because you know what's going to happen afterwards? You're going to say, I get home at this time. This is what time my flight goes in. How about that. you come pick me up? I'm and you know what he's going to say? I'm not doing Your that. Your friendship going to end. Ooh, I wouldn't do that. Can I, um, <laughs> both of these are orange juice. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. That would be okay. too awkward. That would be too weird. I've known them Correct. both too long. That, but this is the problem. But even then, for one of them literally sleeps in my house. On my has a so what? Tell them to come sleep in your bed one time. Ew, no, I wouldn't do that. Correct. See, that's the problem. Women, he you guys, even do. We no. slept in the same bed though before. We don't cuddle or nothing. No, we've slept in the, the same bed. You give that, bed. The moment you give that man per, permission, mm-hmm. he gone. Mm-hmm. He gonna go. Mm-hmm. He gonna go. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, and I don't. Okay, so in the cheating realm, <laughs> uh-huh. men do not get the exact same access to sex that you guys get, right? So let's say candy store, the candy store. You basically had access to the candy store since you were in elementary school. Mm-hmm. I didn't. Let's say I didn't get access to the elementary school I mean, until the candy store until my late twenties, early thirties. Okay. Okay. Now, you've had access all this time, and we're both the same age. Mm-hmm. Now, you are you want to tell a man, don't cheat on me, mm-hmm. when he just got access, and you've had access the exact same time. Mm-hmm. Are you able to tell a man, so you're in the candy store, you've dibbled and dabbled, had what you wanted, when you want it, mm-hmm. and then the man gets in there, finally, mm-hmm. and then, as usual, he's trying out all the candy, mm-hmm. aka having sex, mm-hmm. right? Then he gets with a woman, and the woman says, no, 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 you can only have this candy from now on. Yes. Is that fair? Um, yes. How's that fair? It's not my fault that you were a late bloomer. It's it not has my nothing fault to do with late now. blooming. This is the difference is, your value was given to you when you were in elementary school. But, the man has to create his value. But I still wasn't having sex in elementary school. But that was your choice. So? But was it not so he he didn't have a choice until his 20s or 30s to have sex? No, because he had nobody? to earn it. He had to earn it. There's a difference between you were yours was given to you. Your value is given to you. Okay. Okay? If I ask you Was he ugly or something? No, Cuz no. I don't understand why he had to wait until his 20s or 30s how he didn't have access. That's every man. I don't believe How is that every man when there's so many men that lose their virginity before 20? No, there's a lot of niggas that lie and say they lost their virginity before 20. And again, you only deal with the, <laughs> the top. The men that I know, they the absolutely only men you deal with are the top ten or fifty. We could literally. What? When was the last time you went to McDonald's or any fast food restaurant? Yesterday. Okay. What the dude look like? What dude? Whoever rang you out. I rang myself out. No one handed you the food. Oh yeah, he did. Male he was, or female? He was a guy. 
He was like a 19 year old Mexican boy. You didn't pay attention to him, right? I, I just told you he was 19 and Mexican, so I did somewhat. Because he wasn't attractive. Last time you went in the gas station, uh -huh. was the gas station attendant, was he attractive? No. Okay, last time you went into a shopping mall, you went shopping. Uh -huh. The last time you were dealt by a dude, was he attractive? No. Correct. You don't pay attention to 90% of the men <laughs> I because they're not so attractive. That's how I know they're not attractive. <laughs> But that's the difference. That's, you didn't pay attention. You just saw. Yes. Unattractive, turn this way. Yes. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. That's what women don't understand. Okay. You sitting here saying what you know. Well, you, who you know is attractive. That's why they lost their virginity at a young age. You don't see that now. And you have a I'm very not, small. Hey. You have I'm a not, very small group I'm of gonna, men that I'm have good games. This. Hopefully nobody that I mm, I'm gonna say this the person that I lost my virginity to He wasn't that much of a looker sir You are totally against the grain though. I'm just saying but you are totally against the grain like you You are the girl that in high school probably lost your virginity to the fat lineman that no, nobody else fuck with He absolutely was not fat but I'm just lineman, saying you, you the way you have the way that I actually liked his personality a lot I see. and I had known him since I was two years old so I had already knew who he was I liked the fact that we could be you're in a not group. helping your argument I like the fact <laughs> no I like the fact we could be in a group full of people and he's the only one not telling his business but I knew he was a hoe I knew he was a hoe, but the fact that he knew how to keep his mouth shut. So he had game. See, this is proof. But you regardless, have, men are either attractive or they have. You keep throwing game. out. You keep throwing out uh, different. Those different are only. Things those are only to, two to work things. in your favor. You keep no, throwing. No, no, you keep no, throwing it. No, you keep throwing in different no, things. You no, do. You do. No. Because that was never one of them. Attractive in game? You never said that. Game was never part of this equation. Well, no. The attraction is the first thing that has to get you, and you guys don't he pay didn't attention. Have it. Correct, but you were also younger and it was somebody that you knew. So that doesn't help you because you already knew him. So mm -hmm. he became attractive because of his personality, not because of what he looked like. So full circle, mm -hmm. you would have never paid attention to him if you didn't already know him. I'm going to be honest with you. That's pretty. I've only been hit on, I think, by one dude that I ever dealt with that I did not know. Everybody that I've ever dealt with. I've oh, well, see, this known. goes back to your dating. You choose who you're dating. You, cho you choose to stay in a circle. So as long as you stay in that exact same, so you need to I get know, out of your circle. I just know people first. Like I get to know them before I actually deal with them. That's all. Again, abundance mindset. Women have an abundance mindset. They will have a bunch of. This is this is why women and only women run around and say, "I have a bunch of male friends," and those <laughs> male friends are who they're getting to know to choose the best one out of the bunch well, to date. I will say this, the men that I have dated were not men that I considered a friend of the bunch. They were people that I knew. They weren't my friends. I've never dated Correct. a friend. You made, it them, you made them your friend. No, they were people that I knew. I, I got levels to mine. Just because I know you don't mean that we friends. These were people that I knew. Okay. Yeah, I don't consider everybody your friend. All right. So anyway, candy store. So, all right. If it, well, your level of cheats, you have different levels of cheating. Yeah. Because you got cheating. Yeah. What's up? Yes. You have levels of cheating. You have Yes. cheating just to cheat. No mayonnaise. Add tomatoes. No mayonnaise. Add tomatoes. <laughs> just say it out loud. Okay. They take it in order. Huh? No, nah, I'm straight. Um, You have cheating just to cheat. Cheating to make babies. Cheating repeatedly because there's feelings involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna make this a little bit more granular, which mm -hmm. goes against, and I already know what your answer is gonna be. Would you prefer to find out that your man cheated on you one time, or the fact he was having a relationship across with a woman across town with a whole, with a whole nother family? No. Craig, you're not going for that one. No. You know why? Because it's emotional, it's feeling. Yeah. That, you felt that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we, because cause internally, you already know, sex for men, it means nothing. Mm-hmm. So if sex for men means nothing, why do women care about men cheating? I'm not going to say it means, because you still want to have a sense of possession. Like, it's mine. I don't want mm. you giving it to other people. Men are possessive. Women aren't. Say what? When men are possessive. Women aren't. You, you don't think women are possessive? Uh, women, you guys think you're possessive, but
But if you were possessive, if he cheated on you, why would you ever take him back? Because if you cheat on a man, that nigga ain't taking you back. That is, you know mm. what? The last person mm. I dated, not only has he taken back a cheater, I actually asked him this question last year. I was like, you know, if a, if she a woman cheated on you, you, he said yes, he she, would take her back yeah. because in. We didn't get into it, but I already know it's because he knows he's done a bunch of foul shit. So because he knows that he's done other stuff, he's like, well, you know, I'll just take that one. Once like, okay, he goes through that situation and he feels Which what he it has. feels like to know that the woman that said I loved you, mm -hmm. because women, in order to cheat, have to have feelings mm -hmm. for the other person. Mm -hmm. When he understands that, mm -hmm. he ain't taking her back. You know what? I thought the same. You would be surprised. I know quite a few men in the past two years well, you have, have a couple you have exceptions to have. the rules those I are do. beta males their women don't respect men but in order can for I, a woman to cheat on a man she's already lost respect for him can i say just this is just reminding me the last person that i dated one thing that he was so annoyed about about me was because i always was against the grain i guess these conversations used to annoy him so much because i couldn't ever agree with him but i can't agree with you if i don't agree with you like, if I've seen other things, I'm going to say, I don't agree with that. I've seen this. I know people like this. And that was something he really, like, literally hated. You know why? Because all women do that. Y'all always talk about the minority as if it's the majority. Mm. And this is where men always tell you, y'all are exactly alike. You have some very, very significant things mm -hmm. that stand out mm -hmm. that are definitely minority mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you're still a woman with woman ways that does women things agreed just like as men man this nigga do the exact same shit mm -hmm. right but we're totally different mm -hmm. he's he's at the point to where marriage is is great for him mm -hmm. right but this is the thing and i say this to everyone and every man knows this if if anyone came and said take these keys see these keys you get to keep your wife and your family, but you get to fuck every other woman and she's not going to care. Mm -hmm. Think that man's going to take those keys? Mm. Possibly. Ain't no possibly. 100% of all men are going to take those keys, mm -hmm. including gay men. So they can have sex with other guys. What do we live for? Do you know that after seven days of not having sex, mm -hmm. it physically hurts for us? Mm -hmm. You know that if we go... 20 to 30 days that it could truly so there's this thing called no fap mm -hmm. which is what men have mm -hmm. where we tell ourselves abstain for sex for 30 days mm -hmm. we get angry we get irritable mm -hmm. we become extremely aggressive and we physically have pain in our lower abdomen it, it'll put you in the hospital if we don't is have that sex, what you've already had sex which is why we masturbate and want to have sex with a woman and everything else mm -hmm. god literally created us to have sex mm -hmm. cheating cheating is there's no such thing as cheating our job is to go out and multiply if one man had a hundred women and it was the last man on earth he would repopulate this earth mm -hmm. if 100 women with one man mm -hmm. All right, sorry, I did that backwards. If 100 men had one woman, mm -hmm. they're going to die. Yes. Same way this earth, this earth was populated mm -hmm. is the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So what women consider as cheating, which is the crazy part, almost all women take all men back after they cheat. And you all do understand that sex isn't emotional for us. And it's happened since day one. Why is that the most complained about thing? Because again, you have a sense of possession. We have a sense of possession. I mean, women do too, but I think, and I'm. Uh, well, this is where I'm going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck up your whole world after okay. you finish your thought. Oh, I'm gonna let you I'm finish your thought. I'm just gonna say this: that I personally, I hear other women's reasonings on why they take men back for cheating. I don't always agree with them. I can hear what they're saying, but I don't always agree with them. I think for the most part, the ones that I hear is if they have kids or if they are married, they just feel like they have to stick things out more. This is the crazy part. Women say if they have kids, but how many women become best friends with his other baby mama once they all break up? 
Yeah, because you're probably doing it for the kids because it's a deadbeat dad who's not coming around for the kids. So you probably want the siblings to be able to get together. Well, and you're the only ones that's going to be able to do it. I have multiple kids, multiple baby mamas, and they have perfect. They have no problem. And I, you, you see the little motherfucker in there right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. My kids are well taken care of, but the baby mamas still close as hell. And if I wanted to, if I wanted mm -hmm. to, I could still fuck both of them. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? I don't know. You got to ask them. <laughs> I don't know. Because women, or you guys all, women, or they already just accept the fact that they know that they're gonna have to be in each other's lives. Whether you're bringing the kids, to, they don't go to each other's birthday parties. They're not gonna go to so, each other's so, graduations and stuff. Again, it's in your DNA. Women since the beginning of time, when they said it took a village to raise children, mm -hmm. you know who the village was made up of? That man's multiple wives. Mm -hmm. The women took care of the children while the men went out to war. Mm -hmm. He had multiple wives, mm -hmm. multiple children, mm -hmm. and they stayed and took care of the children. They but bonded together. But there's together. evolution for everything, though, right? So everything is gonna, everything isn't gonna wow. stay the same. That, it's gonna be that's evolution. That's not true. No, there's Why no is it? because that still happens in every country except our country. But over here, we like to advance, right? No, there's a lot of we're not advanced. We're actually going backwards. Marriage, all-time low. Divorce, all-time mm -hmm. high. Childbirth, all-time low. But every other country, less rape, less murder, less uh, child, what would you call that? Where they, uh, pedophilia, right? Because the family is intact. I don't have the statistics on that, so I'm not going to even debate with you. <laughs> okay, well, that, let's but... just ask this. For our black community. Mm -hmm. 76% of us grow up with no fathers, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of shamble are we in? Shambles. But I also see this generation, because they grew up without fathers, I see way more dads this generation being dads. Like, hands-on dads. Oh, There's because so many. You, you, you know the beautiful part that I do love about that statistic is? It has been proven that the men that are out there and are actual fathers to their children, you know who leads with demographic? Black men. That's beautiful. Black men are a part of their children's lives more than any other demographic. How is that more than any other demographic when don't black folks have the least amount of marriage? See, this is the thing. Single parents. Fathers okay. are leading in black demographic as being a part of their children's life above all other demographics. Marriage is not a part of that. And that's probably why, because there's more single families that are black. And so, of course, the black men are going to leave that. If, if they're the majority of them, right? No, we're the we're we are the major we're the least demographic to get married. Mm -hmm. But white people, how many white people have kids? Asian people, all yeah. of them. But we are the demographic that take care of our children more than anything. I wish your ass wasn't leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Woo! Woo I had like five shows with her. <laughs> so. Well, it's been grand. A lot more to say. I mean, call me on the Zoom or something. I do. I got Zoom. I'm getting your number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap this up on this one. But trust me, there's part two, three, four, five, ten parts probably going to come from this motherfucker. <laughs> Ebony, appreciate you. You as well. It's been grand. Okay. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of No Cap Reacts. I'm your man, Bailey, a.k.a. Mr. Go. I'm out.